Hey, what's going on everybody? So recently Travis Orban and I announced a custom drum library that we're collaborating on that's available for download. As a follow-up to that, I wanted to post some instructional how-to videos in terms of taking these samples and using them in a practical application. So my DAW of choice is Logic Pro. Now I'm going to put together a series of videos showing how you can take these individual hits, load them into a sampler, and create a custom drum library of your own. This is going to be the first part of a series of instructional videos. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so now I'm going to give an example of how you might take these individual hits and add them to a sampler program to create your own custom drum library. So I'm running um, Logic Pro and within the program there's a free sampler called EXS24 which I have loaded up right here and I'm going to show you kind of what I did and how to create some of your own sounds. So first I'm going to go into edit and this is going to bring up one of my own presets here and I'll kind of take you through what all this is. So along the bottom here you have all the notes of the MIDI keyboard and I have a lot of the hits already mapped onto certain keys so when you hit a key you're going to trigger whatever sample is mapped to that different key. So let's say you have some hits that you already have cut up and you want to add them in here. The first thing you want to, you're going to want to do is hit zone, load multiple samples. Now I'm just going to take a couple just to keep it simple. Maybe I'll take a medium snare hit, a hard, and a soft hit. And I'm going to hit add. Done. Now it's going to tell me I'm adding three samples. Please choose how to build a map. I'm just going to hit auto map and then OK. All right, so now here's the three samples that I added, and they're kind of in this ungrouped section right now. So what you want to do first is select all of them. You want to unselect pitch, because you don't want the pitch to go up or down depending on what key it's on. You want this to remain steady. Next thing, you want to go to View, Zone Velocity Range, and then this is going to come up here. You want to hit On, so this is going to allow you to select a range of velocities for each sample. Now you see here under key range, it's giving you a, a wide range of which these samples are being triggered. So you probably want to have this on one key to keep it simple. I'm just going to take a blank one right now, let's say C0. So what you can do is just double click C0 for the low range and then just scroll down and make the high range the same. So now once that's done, you can see here, all three of these snare hits are on key C0. But now, what you want to do is change the velocities. So, usually when I bounce down samples, I try and name them, so when I'm looking at them, I won't have to guess. So, you want to have your soft hits at the lower range, the medium ones in the middle, and then obviously the hard range at the highest range of velocities. So, just to kind of make this simple, I'm just going to select a range here. So for the, the first soft hit, I'm going to go from, say, 1 to 40. For the medium hit, I'm going to go, say, 41 to 80. And then for the hard hit, I'm going to go from 81 to 127. So now, when I click on that, it's triggering these hits. Now, I'll show you an example on the piano roll of how you're going to actually trigger those hits. So I find a blank spot and I, I uh, put a note on C0. Now you can see this is a low hit, but as I change the velocities, I'm going to trigger different samples. And that's pretty much how it's done. So once you've go through, gone through the process and you've kind of done the back work, I'll show you an example of how you can really use this if you get familiar with the piano roll. I've got a groove here that I've programmed with a preset, and this is what it sounds like.
So there you go. Hope that helped.